My hair is so curly, I need to brush through it again. But I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. I'm in my robe right now and I just finished getting ready. It's Friday night and I never really start off the vlogs on Friday night. I never really do anything to be honest. I usually just work out, shower, and have an early night in. So tonight we are going to dinner. We have friends coming into town, Sean and Sam. They were up a couple weeks ago actually and now they're coming back up for a wedding and they're staying with us for the weekend and I'm so excited to have them back. But we're going to Super Rica for dinner which is where Christian and I went last weekend for like an early Valentine's Day dinner and I'm so excited to go back. It's so good. If you live in Orlando, you have to go. It's delicious and I'm so excited to go and I'm so excited for our friends to come into town but I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. I ended up washing my hair and styling it. I'm putting on a little makeup for dinner just to have it done because I know we're gonna probably wake up and go get breakfast and I only wash my hair like twice a week and I knew I put like oil in it. I needed to wash it and get it done so I didn't have to worry about it tomorrow. So I ended up styling it. I just wanted to start off the vlog, welcome you back to another video and yeah. Sunday. Our friends just left a couple hours ago and I've been kind of like surface cleaning really quick after they left and tomorrow I'm gonna like do the floors and like deep clean. Actually I kind of did like a deep clean. I like did scrub the showers and everything and the toilets and like wipe off all the counters. I just haven't done the floors or vacuum so I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then like grocery shop because I have tomorrow off of work. It's really rainy disgusting weather in orlando basically all weekend there was like a huge band it could have been like all over florida i want to say this bad weather was not like terrible weather but just rainy brought in like a cold front it's like in the 50s here so it's cold and rainy so our friends came into town for a wedding and i just feel so bad for the bride she it was just terrible weather yesterday but I did hear it's good luck for it to rain on your wedding day but I just feel bad because I mean no one wants to deal with rain on their wedding day but getting ready to so excited um, I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can without like giving too much away but Christian and I are going to our wedding venue today they have an event going on and it's for all brides and grooms that have either booked the venue or are planning to book the venue. I know that when we booked, we automatically got like a spot to go to this event. And I think they hold it twice a year. I wanna say they hold it at the beginning of the year and then in September. But I just thought it was like a fun way or a fun thing to do, like even if it's this early on. And they're gonna have like all of the like appetizer cocktail hour spreads. So we can kind of try different foods and I mean go from there and it will help us solidify what we actually want at our wedding which will be nice so the food I know um, some of the food items that like the dinners are I think both of our options that we want to have at our wedding is on the menu so that's pretty nice so that way we can try it and go from there but I'm just excited and it's funny because this is actually our venue is the only venue that we actually toured. We didn't do like a huge tour of a bunch of different venues. I kind of knew like right when I saw the venue that this is like what I wanted and where I wanted to get married. Um, so I'm just really excited to kind of like go and like be around people and our wedding planner is going to be there. I've actually never met her in person. But I mean, we've obviously talked over the phone. So I'm really excited to kind of like meet her in person. She's actually like orchestrating the whole event, like putting it together. So that's gonna be cool to see like her work in person. I've obviously been following her on Instagram. I was following the company before I decided to book with them. And when I immediately spoke to my wedding planner, I immediately knew I wanted to work with her. I just felt like I was in good hands. Um, and I'm using Bella Sposa events. If you're local to Orlando or even Florida, they do travel. Um, I'm not sure how far they travel. I don't know if it's like worldwide or 
just in the state of Florida, but I can link their Instagram down below. I just felt like really taken care of and I don't have to like stress too much about it. I felt like I was in good hands or am in good hands. So I'm excited to meet her. I'm excited to like go and just, I mean, see the space again. We haven't seen it since we obviously toured it, um, but I'm just so, so excited. So I can't wait to see um, the different spreads and kind of pick and it'll obviously probably be set up exactly how it would be set up for the wedding, obviously. So it'll be nice to kind of see that. And then I'm gonna mix these blushes. And yeah, I know we're kind of like still far out from the wedding, but we're kind of like getting really close to a year out, which is crazy. We're getting married in March of 2025. It's like, I'm just so excited for the day to come, but I don't want it to come at the same time because it's just so fun to like look forward to. And just to like, continue planning it's really fun i mean i'm only in the beginning stages so it could get like really stressful and not fun but like so far it's fun i didn't really vlog a lot yesterday or today because we honestly weren't doing anything because it was so rainy like christian and i went to sushi last night for dinner the guys went golfing yesterday and me and sam like literally just hung out and talked and we went to lunch all day yesterday it was just nice to like catch up she's so close to giving birth to her baby and i can't wait i'm so excited the next time we see them we're going down south for their baby shower in march and then they're due in april so it's just so crazy that it's because we found out they were pregnant back in august when the weekend that we got engaged so it's just crazy that it's already so close to the due date but i'm thinking of so the weather is hard to pick an outfit for like business casual and like I wanted to wear a dress but it's just not warm and it's so rainy so I'm thinking of wearing that trench coat and honestly like my work pants like my slacks and just like a black long sleeve and then some booties and just call it a day because it's hard to just dress in this weather I'm like so happy that it's a three-day weekend I've been like wanting a three-day weekend work has been just so busy and feel like I barely can take a second to breathe. It's just been so busy and we're just getting busier. I'm gonna get ready. I kind of think I'm gonna do like more like heavy eye makeup, maybe um, like smudged eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's so crazy that each day in high school I used to wear like winged eyeliner and even like partially in college, I used to wear winged eyeliner. I don't know how I had the patience for that. <laughs> I do not have the patience for that anymore. So I think I'm gonna do like, I really almost, like I love this makeup organizer that I have, but I wish I had like a bag, like a makeup bag to kind of just put everything in. But then again, this is like nice because it's all kind of laid out. It's kind of a mess, but it's like all laid out for me. So that is nice. I don't know, I just like hate bending down and picking things up. Anyways, I'm so excited. I can't wait to vlog. I'm probably just gonna like document as much as I can and then put in like, what I can. I mean, I obviously want things for memories, but I don't know. I don't wanna give away the location. It's like tough because you like want everything to be a surprise and you don't wanna like give away too much information, but I obviously wanna share and document the process. So we'll see what. I end up including in the vlog. It's also just like rainy and gross. So I know it's gonna be inside. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll share my outfit before we go. It's 3.30, the event starts at five and we're leaving around four so we can get there a little bit earlier. Okay, quick outfit before we leave. Just wearing this long sleeve kind of square neck from Princess Polly. This trench is also from Princess Polly. I feel like it's kind of cute, business casual. And then these pants are actually my work pants from Zara. Favorite work pants ever. If you have not tried them, you need to. I have them in literally seven colors. They're my favorite. I wear them every single day. And they hold up really well. I feel like I've had these for probably close to three years. And they're the best. And then just some black booties. I really have no shoes for this weather. 
or this outfit, but, and then Heaven Mayhem earrings, and then just this little bag that I'm gonna use probably as a clutch. This is the fit. Okay, I'm currently cleaning, picking up, about to do the floors, and I just finished wiping off the rest of the counters. I think I'm gonna do the kitchen again, or I'm gonna wait till after I meal prep. Uh, also, does anyone else collect these on their bedside table? I wear these to do my skincare, and then I wear them to bed. Then I take them off, and then they start to pile up on my bedside table. Sometimes get up to six on the bedside table before I bring them to my bathroom again. So I need to put those in the bathroom. But I always find these everywhere. They're always in a purse, always on a counter, always by my bedside table, just always lying around everywhere. Okay, I just had to restart the clip because I really hope that pamphlet wasn't, you couldn't see it with our wedding venue. But we got a bunch of little things this is a name tag i have it flipped over because it has our wedding date on it and i kind of just want to keep that a secret <laughs> christian and i got a photo taken um but these are just some of the great vendors that were there last night none of these people we have booked but we potentially might use this group just some fun little goodies and this was for like personalized invitations they also do signage really cool so got some cards this was the menu last night probably wouldn't do something like this this isn't the theme that we're going for for our wedding but just kind of like an idea just took it home with us this was a cool little transportation how fun would this be to like exit in one of these cars i don't know or even just having transportation option for guests um let's see this was the photo booth that we took our photos in they also do like dj and lighting you could do a package with them but we already booked our photographer and she is including a photo booth i got some hair and makeup cards i've only gotten my makeup done once and i just actually got it done for the first time for new headshots for work and i looked like a completely different person it kind of scarred me so i'm a little bit nervous but i mean obviously i'll be doing trials <laughs> just <laughs> scares me so i feel like i need to go on pinterest and really get specific about what i want i got some of that floral stuff so that was fun really fun and it was great to just see our venue again after picking it so and then we also got some wedding cake to try i know it's kind of hard to see because i just had it in the fridge but there's chocolate vanilla and pistachio i'm kind of nervous for christian to try any of these because he's allergic to pistachio and they're all in the same box but i just wanted to take it home even though our wedding planner said that the cake that they offer isn't the best and i love her honest opinion i don't honestly know what we're gonna do for cake i feel like cake is just like not important to me I've never really cared about a cake so i don't even know if this honestly matters. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to share. I'm gonna finish cleaning up, then head to the grocery store. I'm kind of treating today like a Sunday. Okay, I just threw on some really light makeup. This is like my everyday work makeup. No foundation, no heavy concealer, just like creamy, bronzy products some blush, mascara, eyebrows. It takes me like five minutes to put it on. And I just threw on a workout outfit under this sweatshirt, like an all black one. Grabbing my purse and I'm gonna clip my hair up. I'm gonna head to the grocery store and then I kind of was debating on meal prepping before going to the gym. I'm trying to stick with my same Monday routine 
by going to the gym but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the grocery store come back then go to the gym before i meal prep so i can kind of beat the five o'clock crowd there's not like always a crowd in the gym usually get pretty lucky but i feel like a lot of people just go to we have like two major gyms right by our apartment so i feel like a lot of people just have gym memberships because the gym downstairs is pretty small but it is 2 30 kind of wanted to be already at the grocery store by now but that's okay i'm gonna try and get in and get out of the grocery store come back we're doing like something easy for dinner just like pasta and meatballs tonight and tomorrow and i already planned out my meals for the week my meal prep for the week breakfast snacks everything like that so I feel really good and i also feel just like so much lighter because i just cleaned like the floors had like an essential oil going in like each room i just feel like so much lighter now that the apartment is clean it feels so good i am so grateful for days that are like extra days off like three day weekends it just feels so good having like an extra day to like do all this extra stuff instead of like having it take up a weekend day if that makes sense it makes the weekend feel so much shorter when you use a day being productive so anyways we're gonna head to the grocery store it's so gorgeous outside what is the weather it's 64 degrees and it's so nice and sunny like clear skies and it's been so disgusting and rainy all weekend so having today be super nice is just the best anyways i'm gonna head to the grocery store Just finished my workout and I'm starting to prep our lunches for the week. I cut up two onion, two peppers. I'm gonna do taco bowls for lunches this week with some red pepper and cilantro lime rice. And I'm using jasmine rice and I'm excited. So I just finished prepping everything. Now I'm going to start cooking this at the ground turkey and then put it all into little containers. Mm -hmm. 